Have you ever gone into a guitar store and immediately walked up to that glorious wall of guitars, looked around maybe a little nervously until that one very special instrument caught your eye? There's no greater adrenaline rush than picking that guitar up and immediately looking around for a place to sit. Look, a beautiful amp set up with a cable already plugged in. You get ready to strum this six string beauty, but then, <laughs> whoa, too loud. That was embarrassing. Sorry. Oh no, you're, you're a little disoriented. You can't think of anything to play. I mean, what are you actually supposed to play when you test out a guitar? I don't wanna play something cheesy, but I don't wanna play something I can't actually play. I don't wanna play scales. I just wanna play something that sounds awesome, that'll help me really get a feel for this guitar. And that's when it happens. You start to go into what I call the guitar store turtle. Your body begins to contort, magnetizing you toward the ground, pulling you towards the amplifier. You don't know why this happens to your posture, but inevitably it happens to us all until we figure out what to play in a guitar store. And what I mean by that is not necessarily what riffs you should and shouldn't play. There are no riffs you should and shouldn't play, right? What I really mean by this and what I'm going to get into in this video is a riff in particular that always sounds great and that can be musical in a sometimes not very musical environment and that can really help you get to know the guitar that you're holding because most of the time you've never played the guitar that's the point of trying something out you want to see if it's a good fit for you or just enjoy yourself so let's get to the video i filmed this earlier this morning because i came up with a chord progression that i really really loved and i was like hey this would be perfect for this video. As a result, I hadn't yet shaved or showered. My apologies for that, but something tells me you won't mind. If you have a suggestion for what you like to play when you test out a guitar in a guitar store, please leave a comment down below. Let's get started. This one I woke up in the morning and I just started playing that chord progression and I just had to throw on the cameras. If you are feeling like you don't know what to play, if you go to a guitar store for example and you want to pick up a guitar you don't know what to do, it really kind of reminds me of something you might hear in a movie or something like that. Just take a regular B minor bar shape like you might be used to, just remove the pinky and play this G string open. And you can every now and then that E as well. Then move this up. This is just a spread voice triad uh, with D as the root. Again, don't feel afraid to hit the E throughout these chords and then just move that shape up a whole step. Make sure not to hit the G on this chord. It's a little dissonant. So we have That's it. As far as improvising, start super simple with just the B minor pentatonic scale. And get a little more colorful with the natural minor. thing about this by itself if we're taking the B minor or the B natural minor approach uh, that would indicate that our key signature is in D major however in D major there is no E major it's E minor that's the diatonic chord the key signature that I would say this is derived from is actually A major
So you can look at it from that perspective, in which case this would change your option uh, in the B minor tonality to B Dorian as opposed to B natural minor. I would target if you want that tonality, or maybe you could go a little outside the box, a little harmonic minor perhaps. Getting lost in this progression is really fun because you don't have to be wed to one certain sound. Personally, I think this sounds best with just the minor pentatonic. It's sort of like a bluesy sound, but it's not like a traditional blues sound. So that's why I think the traditional sound of the minor pentatonic can really complement this kind of more modal sound, I would say. So that's where I would start as far as improvising 101. I mean, if you've been watching my videos for a while, then you'll know I'd like to kind of develop little motifs and home riffs. So just something really simple is what I would start with if you're walking into a guitar store, just to get warmed up, play the chords. Find a tone that you like. I like this tone. And that's it. from there. Maybe that's your turnaround, the A. Well, I hope this was a helpful video for you, my friends. Until next time, keep shredding.